Hi everyone, my name is Alex. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be trying the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Night Mask. This product retails for $42. This is actually the very first product that I am trying from the brand Pharmacy. I've heard so many great things about this brand. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, gluten-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. Some of the highlighted ingredients in this product include a 10% concentration of niacinamide, a 3% concentration of panthenol and beta-glucan, and upcycled blueberry seed oil. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. So I took a look at this ingredient list before purchasing this product and I am very impressed by the ingredients. So I'm really hoping that I will like this product. There are a few things I'm wanting to look for in this product during this trial. One of the things is always the big thing with me with moisturizers, which is does this cause acne? I usually struggle a lot with moisturizers and acne. As you know, if you've watched multiple videos on this channel, it's either hit or miss with me. And I'm really hoping that since this is a niacinamide focused product that I won't experience any breakouts with it. Another thing I'm wanting to see is how hydrating is it? Pharma says that you can use this on top of your moisturizer as your last step at night or use it to replace your moisturizer. The final thing I'm wanting to see is just if I notice any results in my skin during this trial. It's only going to last one to two weeks so it's not going to be anything crazy but I am still curious if I notice any brightening effects or anything new with my skin. I will be doing check-ins and if I notice anything else I will let you all know so I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I just want to give you all a quick check-in and some of my first impressions on this product. I was able to use it for the very first time last night and I was very surprised by how thick this product was and that is not a bad thing. I felt like it delivered a really nice amount of hydration. When I woke up my skin felt pretty normal, it didn't feel too dry, it didn't feel too greasy. So I'm really liking the feel of this product so far. I will be using it every night and I will probably check in again after using it for just a little while longer. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. I have been able to use this product for about a week and a half and it has been a roller coaster. <laughs> I do have my final thoughts on this product because I'm pretty sure that this product did break me out. The week started off really good Initially, the first time using this product, it was very thick. It was very moisturizing. I really loved my experience with this product. I started to notice my hyperpigmentation fade away and I was like, okay, the first three days were going really good. I would wake up in the morning after using this product and my skin wouldn't feel overly hydrated or feel overly dried out. So it was a nice balancing overnight sleeping mask at first. Then I started to notice that zits were coming up in places that I would normally not get zits. I took a photo of my acne and I was having a few zits right in here and I always struggle on my forehead and then some started to come up over here more. The more that I used this and every day that I used it after I noticed acne come up, I would notice even more start to come up and it wouldn't stop until I just stopped using this product. So I definitely think that this product sadly broke me out. But with that being said, I did experience a lot of nice results the first few days within using it. I did experience some brightening results and I did experience some results with my texture. The only thing was it did create acne the more that I used it. I really loved my results up until then. I was so happy with how my skin was feeling. It's a very moisturizing product. So I definitely don't think this is a bad product. I just think that I couldn't use it myself because I am sensitive to one of the ingredients. So if you don't suffer as much with acne from a lot of moisturizers, I think this product would be amazing for you, especially if you suffer from hyperpigmentation or a lot of texture. I really think this product is a good product. It's just not personally for me to use. If I didn't have a breakout with this product, then I would have loved it. This is the first product I have tried from pharmacy, so I'm not sure if 
I would like any of their other products. I am just sad that my first impression with one of their products was a negative reaction, but I am hopeful for the products I will try in the future. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review. Bye!